Hey everyone, just want to do another quick demo here on how to turn off the green or woodland cover on your topo maps. Um, you might also hear them referred to as DRGs or digital raster graphics. Um, so uh, I've got a project open here and um, I've navigated over to my topo maps and I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and then just drag them right in. And there you can see there's all nine of them. It's a three by three grid um, right over here in my table of contents. I'm going to go to the first one and uh, I want to look at the symbology of that. Um, so I'm going to click on that in the ribbon and come over here to the symbology pane. Um, you can see that the primary symbology is color map. And as such, I can't change any of these colors. So what we want to do is actually change that symbology to unique values. Uh, when we do that, um, we can edit those colors, but you can see that they don't show up in the pane right away. And I think this is a, a bug in 2.9, um, but I'm not sure. So what the, the solution to that is, is if you expand this first layer here um, and, and uh, left click or single click on, on any of these, it'll actually populate those values um, over in your symbology pane. So uh, I'm going to minimize that again. Um, so now what we want to do, um, now we can actually change these. And if we uh, click on that, we can change the zero to no color in this case, um, the two to no color. And then you can see that green is the value of six. Want to also change that to no color. And when we do that, you can see our first topo map. Uh, if we zoom in on it, you can see we maintained the contour lines and the roads and the, uh, the hydro features. And so um, that's exactly what we want, tra transparency so that hillshade shows through. Um, now you could go through the other eight here all individually and do the same thing. But uh, for the sake of uh, efficiency, what we can also do is save the first one out as a layer file. So if we go to sharing, save as a layer file, um, in this case, uh, in, in base data, navigate to wherever your topos are, um, and then uh, you can name that uh, um, whatever you want, but I'm just going to call Topo Symbology and then uh, save that out. Call that good. Now, as it saves that layer file, um, we can go down and select each one of these individually. Um, and then uh, if we want to import, um, we go to the little hamburger up here, we can import that Symbology layer file that we just saved out for the first one into the second one. And so we say uh, import from layer file. Um, the other thing that we can do, which is nice in pro, is that um, if we've got an existing layer in our map, um, we can import it straight from that first one over here. Uh, I like to save it out as a layer file because that way you've got it for later. Um, but, uh, but either way, um, does the same thing, accomplishes the same thing. So if we navigate back, um, to where we save that layer file, um, topo symbology, then we can go ahead and import that symbology. And so you can see the second one just took effect there too. Um, and so that's a little bit quicker than going through each one of these individually. Once those are all done, um, then what you can do is group those uh, and save them out as a group layer file, uh, which I've done here. And I'll show you what that looks like. Um, basically all of them are, are uh, transparent and the green has gotten rid of that. So, so there you go. Um, so that's the quick and easy way to, to change that. Um, now, one thing, um, this, this may vary depending on where you get your topo maps. So I wanted to show you also, um, for example, if you were to get, uh, get your topo maps from the NIFSI FTP server, and I'll bring that up, um, uh, most of the time we go into the incident specific data to look at our map products and, and look at individual fires. Uh, but if you, if you notice here, there's this base information. Um, if you, if you select that, um, there's this topo maps folder in there and you can download these seven and a half minute quads or topo maps. And, um, and for most states, I would say not all obviously, but, but most Western states and some, some in the East as well. So anyway, um, the first thing you want to do, if you're going to go this route with the NIFC FTP, um, server is download the seven and a half minute quad index layer file um, and you can bring that into your map it's an easy way to identify the names of which topo maps that you want um, so I highly recommend doing that um, so 
I'm going to bring up a, another project here that I was working on and, uh, and demonstrate what that looks like. Um, so this is just a, a mock fire I've got going uh, for demonstration purposes. And then I've got these downloaded and unzipped. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing as select all those and bring them in to my map. And as they're, they're loading here, um, you might get this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there they are. It just took a little, little bit for them to come in and you can see that there's the four of them there. Um, they may or may not have, um, some of this collar, uh, information on the side. And so we want to do the same thing. Um, go back over to symbology for this first layer and, and it doesn't matter which one. Um, but again, it's color map and we can't select any of those colors. And you can, you'll notice that for, for however these were processed, they're a little bit different color scheme. Um, if we zoom in, uh, you can notice that the, the woodland cover or green color has already been removed from these um, that the, the that are on the, the NIFSI uh, FTP server. So that's good. But we also we want to get rid of some of this white and that collar stuff. So easy way to do that. Um, if you if you go in to like a corner, we want to get rid of this this yellow. Um, and so if you just do an identify on your map, it'll show the name of that topo and then the the, uh, the individual pixel uh, ID, right? So that value for that pixel is 195. So we'll close that, um, scroll all the way down. Oh, excuse me, first thing we gotta do is change it to unique values. And again, you'll notice they don't show up in here um, right away. Uh, so if we go in and click any one of those, boom, they, they appear over here in the symbology pane. Um, this was 195, this kind of yellow area on the edge. So we just go down to 195 and again, just make that no color and it disappears. Cool. We're transparent. Um, and you can do the same thing for the white. Um, let's do, uh, identify on that and we can see that that pixel value is 255. So we will go down to 255 and change that to no color. And we're looking pretty good. Um, you may notice on some of the, the topo lines, um, if, if you're seeing some of that, that white, if you really wanted to, you could, you could go in here, um, and, and pick an individual pixel, probably not necessary, but that's in this case, 245. So, you know, if we, uh, if we went ahead and, and changed that to no color, that might clean up our, our topo line just a little bit, but, but those are looking pretty good. Um, so there you go. You can now, uh, go through and save that out as a layer file, group these, um, after you have, uh, used that layer file to import the symbology to the other topos in your map. Um, thanks a lot.